Welcome, White Lightning Agents, to another episode of Counterintelligence. I'm Ian, still here from White Lightning Headquarters. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm Kyle. And I'm, I'm still alive. <laughs> Just barely. That is Ethan. Uh, this week's topic is... Something. John D. Dr. John D. Mathematician, astrologist, philosopher, astrologer, and general all-around weirdo slash genius of the 16th century. Is it with one D or twos? One D, two E's. Oh. One D, two E's, one John. Much like White Lightning. Oh yeah, we do only have one John. <laughs> so... We begin with Henry VIII, famous for his many wives that he went through in an attempt to conceive a male heir. He accedes to the throne in 1509 and maintains a relatively stable monarchy for a while, up until 1527 when John Dee is born, at which point, conveniently, things begin going haywire in the monarchy as well. That's you. Oh. <clears throat> um, so Henry, uh, he had a lot of trouble having a, a male son until uh, he married Mary, and... It's not how that goes. Oh. Well, he had to create he his own marry church. Mary. Mary was his daughter. That's probably not... Oh. It's not that messed up. Oh. Wait. The, he made his own church in order to divorce, right? Yeah. And he did this several times. Once. Then, oh, no. Oh, well, he killed someone, too. Well, he killed well, he divorced people. several times. He didn't make several churches. Oh, well, that's what I meant. He made the church once, and then he divorced several times. A couple times. Killed a couple. Anyway. This is going great. <laughs> yep. But is that all? Is that all of the, the marrying information? I'm sure. I don't know. Being unable to divorce under the Catholic Catholic doctrine, Henry creates his own church, causing a sch in the religion. Schism. Schism. Henry, Ian wrote these note cards as the issue, and you can't read his handwriting. Henry, I wrote in print. Henry dies in 1549. Seven. 47. And his sole male heir, the nine-year-old Eduardo V, <laughs> accedes to the throne. I believe that is treason. Pronouncing an English name in Spanish, but Edward the Sixth. He's in the throne now. He's a nine-year-old. What does he do? Are we talking about D still, or are we talking about the? That was a bit of history because D wasn't politically relevant at that point in right. time. So we really start off with D on your card. Okay. All right. So John D was uh, born in 1527. Um, he was interested in a philosophy called Hermeticism, which um, is like the belief that 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 all philosophies come from one thing that God handed down to mankind. Is that correct? More or less, or less. yeah. Way back when, some ancient divinity handed man an ancient code, and it's since diverged into all kinds of religions and philosophies. He was super into that. Um... That's all that's on it. That's, yeah, that's all that's on. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so, when Edward VI exceeds the throne, he only uh, reigns for six years, dying at age 15. Um, during this brief time, uh, uh, John D., who has already gotten a PhD from Cambridge at the age of 19, is lecturing on Euclid's geometries in Paris and generally uh, experiencing continental Europe and um, 
traveling about. Uh, as you just stated, D travels and scholarship in continental Europe. It establishes him as a reputation for being wise and skilled and setting the groundwork for his respected political career. I'm not sure if reading off the note cards is actually just like just not like remotely interesting at all. Not actually the intention of the note cards. Well, you gave us the note cards. But I also taught you the information beforehand. Yo, this guy was mad smart and then Edward V died, or the sixth. <laughs> That's exactly what I was expecting. I gave a whole, I literally did this to you at the start with fewer notes than these. I don't, I don't, like all of these names are like sound the same. And it was, and it's Edward died and then lace. Mary died. No, she didn't die. She killed someone. She killed a bunch of people. And then she that was the whole point. And then de rectangled to England. De rectangled. It's, like <laughs> it's like the information that I get in Assassin's Creed through the, like, all, like, the read, like, here's is the de, backstory on these historical figures in case you don't want to go stab people. Is D Ezio? But Did that, D kill Mary? You want to go hear the, the historical information, right? Who stabs people? Bad people stab people. Yeah. Did Edward kill Mary? I don't no. remember. Edward. Mary. No, Edward died. And then okay. D. Return to England. Good job, D. You're, you made it back to England. You didn't get dysentery because this was 1553 where everyone had dysentery. I mean, like, he seems like an interesting guy. It's interesting when you tell us, but like reading off the actual cards is, is difficult. It makes it hard to say even know what I'm saying. Because <laughs> I'm just staring at the cards. I'm staring at the cards. Dude, magical. It's just cards. I know. You don't even use cards like when you're like when you're speaking in class. Like this isn't even like a good thing. Like, I mean, I guess. Sometimes you use cards, but I don't know how to use I will use the cards. Give me cards. Okay. I don't think that's going to make it more interesting if you just use the cards. No, we're doing this differently now. They're so rated. You're going to tell me about this without the cards. I don't know about it. That's too bad. You'd better know about it. Don't worry, Kyle. I took many courses. All right. Indeed. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to tell me, or I will punish you. Why do you have the authority to do that? Because I'm from the headquarters, and you are not. Don't you wonder why they shipped you here? But how did... I have... I'm number 001, and you're two. How does that even work? Two is bigger than one. That's right. the wrong order! That's not how that's supposed to go! I'm 008. I'm gonna ask you questions, and the oh, first person... Does that person... make Rachel the, like, the highest up or something? Because she's nine. Well, no, there's a decimal in front of my eight. <laughs> so, she might be 0.9. I'm going to ask you questions. The first person to answer gets off scot-free. The second person to answer, or who answers incorrectly, faces my very well-articulated and completely deniable wrath. Who succeeded Henry VIII? His son? <laughs> who? <laughs> Can I buzz that into my answer too, his son? Wait, 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 no, 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 no. His son, who became king when he was nine. His, his name was Edward. Very good. Wait, sir. God dang it. How do you remember that? Because that's the, that, was on, that was the only thing I on was, my card that I could read. I read the entire Wikipedia. Why don't you take my water? Are you freaking kidding? At the age of 19, John D., mathematician extraordinaire, genius, and a little bit weird, became a fellow at what university? It's one of them British ones. Um, it's a very strong guess, seeing as he was from Britain. <laughs> Oxford. Is it Oxford? It's not Oxford. Uh, Give me something. It's currently called like Henry the Eighth something. Like I know it has a very long name now. I don't know what it was called back then. It was called, as it is still today, Cambridge. Right. What kind of philosophy did John D. follow? Um. The the mystical kind. Wow. Wait, yes. no. The wait. Did, is it the one that I said already? Did I say the name of it? You might. Are you asking the same question? Um. It's like it's like a donut. It's like it's like holistic or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But no, no, no. It like uh. combines. There's a combination. No, it's like because like it states like he said there was like at the beginning he handed out one little nugget. I don't of know the. Knowledge. And then we took this. I'm liking and it, his answer a lot better than yours right now. In school, I always like whenever the, the thing was mentioned, they had the, the the word choice, and I could pick the one that looked the most like it. I didn't. I Hedonism. cheated in school. Okay. What hedonism? No. It's, no, it's not. Uh, close. You said. 
Give me your tie. <laughs> Wait, what, me? You're tied. Yeah. Why? You didn't answer. So this had profound effects on young John D. This idea that everything once was one, including the fact, the idea that math and magic were pretty much equal in terms of investigating truth. Wait, right. so he was a, a rhythmancer? <laughs> Actually, kind of. He mostly, well, we'll get there. First off, he became a political advisor before things got weird. Who did you advise? The Queen Elizabeth I. Right, it's right. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Ha. I want your water. So, as advisor to Queen Elizabeth I, what did he do? Give me something. Tell me, he did a lot. This guy was super important. He proposed important. to create a British Armada. Close. Ish. He well, said that the, they needed a strong navy, and also he came up with the idea of the British Empire by saying they should expand and take over things, especially the New World, America. His yeah. answer was better. Watch your coat. Uh, wait, no, hold on. Are you trying this like like some kind of like, like strip poker kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't, know. I don't have anything no, else. No, that's not allowed on this show. Watch me. Going. All right, so he eventually became dissatisfied with court. Dissatisfied that Elizabeth wouldn't accept his suggestions on how to change the calendar. Things like that. And he decided to seek other advice. Where did he seek it from? Crap. It was angels. Guy. No, no, it was the guy. The guy the who said he name. could talk to angels. The alchemist. Uh, uh Kelly. The guy who Kelly. lied about being Adam Kelly. No, wait, that's my friend. That's Reed's friend, Adam Kelly. That's not a, that's not a historical person. <laughs> Dang it. Henry Kelly. <laughs> You're getting close. Um, Herbert Kelly. No. Yeah, Humphrey Her Kelly. No. <laughs> now I want your badge. What was the name of the language that the angels spoke in? According to Edward Kelly, Euless, Yule, 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 Edelin. And Nokian. <laughs> Is that even a thing? You win! Wait, do I really? Yes! I demand your glasses. You need to take your glasses. <laughs> okay, well that was a great episode. So, uh... Leave your comments and suggestions for future things. Like, there's just no point to this. I, I made all these cards. Like most they, of the all time. All these cards happened. We if actually you, do pretty decent episodes usually. You just, or at least talk about something. All you had to do was read the cards. But there was just like... like I wrote in print so you could read the cards. It was even interesting information. And it's it wasn't fascinating. For at all. No, the cards aren't good. The cards are work. amazing. Those are... That's we just ended up reading work. off of the cards. We learned this about is top level D work. guy. Yeah, but you learned about D before it. And then all we ended up doing is like trying to regurgitate it back out of these cards, like using these as a reference. But that doesn't work because we just end up reading the cards, Ian. Well, that's your we fault. We read the that cards your... in front of the camera. Be better. It doesn't work Be... that way. It doesn't, it doesn't make a good episode at all. So you should take these back to the HQ office. You don't deserve the cards. And He's... then we'll just do you stuff with JT. You know what? You know what? When he gets back to his super secret spy mission in Mexico. I didn't say that out loud. He's not in Mexico. <laughs> There are going to be changes. No. You think this is good? No. We're yeah, gonna, you're not going to no. be here anymore. That's the change. Y'all will learn. We're going to do I this. I will make you learn. No more cards. I am going to get more authority and more punishment, no more and you will learn. I'm going to, I'm going to, look, I'm dipping your card in water. I'm eating my, it. My, Take my, that. That's my, a bad idea. God. But uh, my, my badge, I need that for the snack. Wait, did he take the badge? He took my badge. <laughs> From... Isaac Tate on Intersnex. Oh dear God! I just realized that he is literally every Kyle. Please, I'm sorry, I'm my Kyle. Phone. Please, I'm sorry. Really finish. I'm sorry. From every, literally every Tumblr post, every tweet on Twitter, every Facebook post, and every godforsaken YouTube comment, permanently infesting his brain, quickly devouring his sanity and faith in human intelligence. Yeah. Yeah, we could have gone much darker with that video. <laughs> did, you, did you watch that one? Yes. Okay. I didn't ever know because Ian never watches our videos, so I didn't know. If Loser! It <laughs> um, but uh, oh, my glasses back. <laughs> you have? But where did you even get those? I bought them from the glasses store. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, because we we, we kind of went that route with the you know with the computer killing itself at the end of the last video, mm. which I was glad we were able to like work that in kind of. Um, but yeah, if you actually downloaded the internet to your brain. You would die. You, you would become a horrifying person. It would destroy you, I think. It would not end well. Do you think there's more good on the internet than bad? No. <laughs> Do you think there's more medium on the internet than uh, well done? 
Wait, are we talking about meat now? It's a or... meat joke, Kyle. <laughs> From Lonely Ninja, I love the smirk. He clearly couldn't contain his joy with the cards going everywhere. Hey, that's topical. <laughs> Um, yeah, we actually just, the way I did that was I threw cards at his face without telling him I was going to do it because we were really rushing through, like, it was at the end of the day, mm. and so uh, I was like, I started describing it to him, I was like, okay, so no, so we just did these lines, this is what the scene's going, this is your reaction, I'm about to ask it, and I just threw the cards in his face. From Oscar Walton, I see you watch Hat Films Nice. <laughs> yeah. I've actually, I've dropped a couple references in the past videos. But I don't know I do. who they are, because I they don't know are, anything. They're, they're a gameplay channel, but they are... Do they wear hats while playing games? No. They oh. are more filmy, though. Like, they're, they're different from other gameplay channels in that they have... Like, some of them, I think, actually have a film background. Oh, like okay. Like, they came from film So just stuff. better production value in general? Yeah. They have, they have a few... They actually have, like, a series they did on... Or that they're still doing, I guess, on using the Grand Theft Auto game. Because mm. they have a... Um, uh, Grand Theft Auto has a detachable camera thing that you can zoom around and like film with. Oh. So they actually have like a cinematic series called Stunt Lads, and I have their. You may have seen me wearing the Stunt Lads T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, I've seen you wearing a couple times. So yeah, well, I've I've referenced them. We did this, and then there's like one little reference drop to them in the um, the video you were in with the cars, Rocket League. From Samuel Jones, you guys are like loading Ready Run in the early days. Thanks, I think I still haven't watched any of their videos. They're really good. <laughs> in fact, it's good yeah, though. they they do remind me a lot of. I think one of the, you should go watch uh, Krog's List. Is that one of theirs? It's one of theirs, and it reminds me a lot of our humor. Just and it's. I'll have to take a look at them at some point. It's really we keep good. getting compared. To I'll them, pull so up. I should, I'll pull up a video after this. I should see it. I want to leave after this. It's stupid late right now. It's like seven it's in the way afternoon. Way later than it's supposed to be. It's like seven. o'clock. It's literally almost eleven o'clock. It's like seven. Eleven. It's not from Mill Cow Blast. What? Milo. Who? No. Milo oh, Milo Cow, Cow 44. Forty-four. Five days ago. Wow. I didn't know anyone else in the entire universe has heard of Chuck before. Yeah, Chuck. Chuck is the show that we were referencing. Oh, the, yeah. the I Chuck just finished show. watching the whole thing on Netflix. And it was weird because I remember people mentioning it before, which is why I watched it. Heart 4. What? Heart 4. <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember people watching the show. Nobody's even going to see that. <laughs> There's a heart, but with instead of the three, it's the four. And, and then, he, and then they corrected. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no, Chuck was a really good show. It actually was, it was... It taught me a lot of stuff about writing, actually. It does a really great job with build-up and payoff. But it teach you a lot about Chuck. Yes. It's the he important the main message. character of the show. The main character does not always have to be likable. But yes, but it the seems main like... the character has to be relatable. It's a weird It's a weird kind of show where it, like a lot of people like it, but it doesn't seem like it's a very big discussion topic or anything. Mm. So it was popular, but, but no yeah. No one really talks about it. It's weird. Like, every now and then you're like... Hey, remember Chuck? And everyone's like, yeah, I yeah. love Chuck. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Is it like the 90s? Remember the 90s? Yeah, exactly. Except it was like like three years ago or something. Remember, remember three years ago? <laughs> Man, those were some crazy times. All right, leave your comments and suggestions. And for, questions. And questions, sure. Leave um, yeah, leave some more community comments questions. Uh, we're, the way we're doing them now is kind of like rapid fire going through them. So on these episodes specifically, the counterintelligence episodes, if you ask actual questions that we can maybe aren't necessarily related to a specific video, or they could be, but even if it's just something like, what's your opinion on this, or what do you know about this thing? Just something that we can, like, give a rapid-fire answer to so that we can just, like, stick a bunch of comments in these sections. That'd be great. Um, Again, leave your suggestions for topics. We will get to them. Um, We're just doing this on a big delay, and uh, eventually we'll get to them, and we will answer them. And we'll see what's happening next episode. JP will be back from his mission to not Mexico. It's a secret place that isn't Mexico. I've heard that the... I think I'm going to get in trouble not mariachi with the HQ for saying that. Festive. And then we'll see if Ian does something. Because he actually just left. He was screaming at us for a while, so that's fine. So we'll see if we get new orders from the headquarters. For now, that is it. Have a good day. I'm Leave Kyle. us suggestions and things. This video will now self-destruct.